right now uh, your coffee cast this morning. We are in the 40s. It is extremely mild, mild, but windy out there. Those winds have kicked up across the front range and it's going to stay that way throughout the day. In fact, we're likely going to see gusts near about 50 miles per hour. Unfortunately, we're also looking at some heavy mountain snow and with those winds, it's going to be blowing it around. Berth had passed right now a recent gust of 60. Estes Park, you've been anywhere from 15 to about 40 miles per hour and this will continue. And in fact, as the day goes on, those winds will kick up even more so. So a number of alerts. These are high wind warnings and watches over the southeastern plains. All of eastern Colorado under this red flag warning, so high fire danger in effect until 6 o'clock tonight until things start to cool down. But we're talking highs in the mid to even upper 60s over the northeastern plains. And then compare that to the other shade of pink over the western half of the state. That's a winter storm warning in effect until uh, Tuesday night for a good 10 to about 20 inches of snow, especially above about 10,000 feet. So you'll see that here on Futurecast. We'll be in the low 60s as early as 1130 this morning. Those winds howling out of the west, downsloping wind, warming everything up. That snow is going to stay in the mountains. When you look off to the west today, you're going to see a lot of cloud cover up and through the high country, obviously with the snow. And then overnight tonight is when we'll start to see a little rain and snow developing, and that'll start really by early tomorrow morning. That's at 730. So expect to see some wet roads for the morning commute, especially if you get out the door after 7 o'clock, and then that's going to switch to likely some all snow. Winds will kick up out of the north, so we're going to start off tomorrow morning in the 40s and it's going to get colder as the day goes on. So we're likely hitting our high in the early morning hours, which obviously isn't common. Usually see it at around four o'clock in the afternoon. Skies will then clear out. Things are going to calm down and warm up as we head into the middle of the week. But here's a look at some of those uh, expected snowfall totals around one to potentially three inches for parts of the metro area and foothills. A little more obviously up along 285 conifer at near three inches. Same thing there in Evergreen. We're likely at around one to two by tomorrow night. It looks like here in town temperature wise we will go from 60s today to those 40s early tomorrow morning 30s though by tomorrow afternoon and then as skies start to clear out things are going to really warm up again. We're back to near 60 degrees by Thursday again unseasonably warm here for end of February early March Saturday Sunday 60 Saturday. We're likely going to see a few spotty showers and it does get a little cooler Jason on Sunday and I was just taking a look at some of the uh, weather stations the CDOT weather stations that are set up along the highway and the one out here at Bennett which is just a little bit east of Watkins east of E 470 it was just registering some wind gusts over 30 miles an hour and so so you can see the camera moving around slightly, but some of the vehicles with size, maybe empty trailers, light trailers might be blown around a little bit. So just be careful. CDOT has an advisory for those folks right now.